Hoarding is a lot more common than people think, and even hoarders need to move and sell their house. So how do you do that with all of that stuff? It's super overwhelming. I'm Katie the Real Estate Gal in the Denver metro area. I am a licensed real estate agent in this state. I help with buying, selling, and everything in between. And in this video, I'm gonna be talking about one of the many stories that I've had with hoarders and the best route to go. For this particular story, I'm gonna be covering three different routes that we could have taken, the route that we took, and this seller's story. So first I met this seller a while ago, it was during the pandemic in 2020. She's actually my next door neighbor. And I told her that I was getting my real estate license and she hung on to that. So that just shows the importance of networking and educating people of what you do. So fast forward two years later, she knocks on my door and I open it and I said, oh, how are you? And she said, Katie, I'm not good. My daughter passed away last week and I need to sell my house, which completely took my breath away. That is so traumatic. So I pulled some statistics in how long she's been in the house. She's been in the house for 20 years and I found out that she has not done any renovations or updates whatsoever. Once she opened the front door, there was a very narrow pathway that was about shoulders width apart. And there were things from floor to ceiling stacked. It was very organized. There's a lot of the Tupperware drawers that were pulled out. So you could tell it's very organized, but it was very crammed with things. So her house is 470 square feet. It is one level and there is a basement that has about 350 square feet. So less than a thousand. There was also a garage and two sheds. Everything was packed full of things. So I sat with her and listened to her story. Unfortunately, her daughter had passed away that prior week and her husband had passed away four or five years ago. And the reason why she started accumulating more things is it made her feel good. It felt good to buy something on sale and to save money. She's been alone for the last four or five years. So I understand that having stuff provides comfort to her. There are a couple different types of hoarders out there. There are some hoarders that collect trash. There's some hoarders that just collect stuff and stack them up. Luckily, she was one of the types of hoarders that was very clean and organized, just had way too much stuff. A lot of the things still had tags on them. She just got fulfillment from buying things on sale. She had an entire wall bookshelf filled with children's books. She had a ton of paint and spray paint, 25 boxes of toothpicks. There was eight containers of laundry detergent, probably a hundred bags of sugar. There was a ton of canned food items as well as box items that were stacked on top of the stove and in every cabinet door imaginable. A lot of the things had been expired. So the first thing that I needed to do was listen. I needed to listen to her story and listen to her goals. She did decide that she didn't wanna get rid of anything, which is hard for me to hear, but this isn't my house. This isn't my story. This is her story. And we don't have to get rid of everything, but we are gonna need some help because she isn't gonna be able to box all of these things on her own. So the first thing we did is we had a professional organizer come out. This particular organizer does have a grief counselor on speed dial, and so they can sit with her while the workers are going through all of her things. So they categorize their items, A, B, and C. So A is your daily use items. B, you only see once or twice a year, maybe Halloween decorations or Christmas items. And C are things that you don't really have a purpose for, but you just can't let go of. Then everything else is either going to be thrown away or donated. Now the person that came out was super professional. I was very, very impressed, but the price point is where we struggle. For these services, not including actually moving the items, it was gonna be $20,000 just to box everything up. They do label it, they categorize it, so it's very easy to find, as well as when they pack things on the truck. They pack the things in the back that don't need to be accessed, and the things towards the front of the truck are easily accessible, like those daily items that I was mentioning. Another thing that rubbed my client the wrong way is that they would be touching every single thing. She would be seated at a six foot table and they would just bring something in front of her and she would say, I use that every day or I can't get rid of that or you can throw that away. She didn't like all of her things being rifled through and this process was gonna take a lot of time. You can only allocate so many hours in a day and so many hours in a week because it's very, very overwhelming. So because of those reasons, we decided to pass on that company. Phenomenal company. If you are in the Colorado area, I'm more than happy to share their information. They are fantastic. The second option that we visited was just having a ton of movers come, box everything for her, put it on a truck, and then she can head out of state. 
Now that sounds a lot easier than done because yes, you can box everything. Everything is neatly packed, even if they labeled those items. The only thing is that they're not gonna be theming these items. So once we get to the other side and she starts unpacking, it is going to be super, super stressful. She just went through the grief of losing her daughter and I can't imagine trying to find something and being super frustrated. So we decided not to go down this route either. I've made a lot of really great connections for local movers in the Denver metro area, as well as dumpster companies. And that was one route we did decide to go. We rented a 24 foot long dumpster that sat in her driveway and then she could just toss whatever she wanted in it. And then once the dumpster was ready to be picked up, she gave them a call and they would come and take it away. Now this client was super duper fortunate that she reunited with a childhood friend that once they came, they realized that they couldn't just leave that they needed to help her. I am a connector and I'm going to guide you in the right direction and give you resources to use, but I can't go through your things yourself. So this friend helped go through her items, throw away things that weren't necessary. And over the course of two to three weeks, my seller was getting more and more comfortable with getting rid of things, whether it be donated and thrown into a dumpster. This entire process is really mentally exhausting. So having somebody there that can listen to you and help you through it is really, really critical. When all was said and done, we did this in about a month. She was able to get rid of two 24 foot dumpsters as well as move with two 26 foot box trucks. We were able to find a seller that wanted to buy the house as is, and this was just mind-blowingly amazing. We were so grateful for it. And then this was an investor that is going to be fixing and flipping the house. Cause like I mentioned, they didn't do any renovations. So it's all about who you know and connections in this industry. She's now happily moved out of state. I'm calling her once a month just to touch base. I sat with her for countless hours and this wasn't a transaction that made me a lot of money whatsoever, but somebody needed to be there for her. I'm Katie the Real Estate Gal in the Denver metro area. If you found this video helpful, please hit the like button or comment below if there are any resources that I can provide that I've mentioned in this video. I would love to hear your story and please share this video with anyone that you think this would be helpful for. I'm not a trained licensed therapist or anything like that. I am a real estate agent in the Denver, Colorado area, but that's why I'm in this business is to help people. So thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next week.